Crawlers, how are you guys? Hello. <laughs> Very excited to be here. Good. Um, yeah, download. But you can't wait for later. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm just so excited. Liv has been waiting for this moment. So I'm going to give you the, the whole law behind this moment because it was iconic. So we were doing a Mayor Devale session and we got the message from my agent, agent about download. And I don't think we thought we were going to do it. Shut up. I don't think we thought that we were going to... Sorry, I nearly spilled water on you. But um, I, don't think, I don't think we thought download was going to be one because obviously like, we're a little bit more... We're not mainstream, but you know, the download's very much down the alternative lane. Yeah. But when the offer came through, we were all whispering, going, Oh my God, we need to tell Liv and get their reaction. Uh -huh. And Liv's reaction was that she's like, <gasps> You're fucking joking. You're fucking joking. You're fucking. Evanescence, you're fucking joking. Da -da -da. And it was just the best. Like, because the lineup this year is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, Metallica, Slipknot, fucking Architects, Evanescence, Nova Twins, Bring Me the Horizon. Are you joking? Yeah. And we're on this line off as you, well. You would have been here regardless of being yeah. playing. Oh, well, yeah, or not. absolutely. I'd be like, I'm blocking the week off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Literally, there's so many times you've like planned to go to download as well. It's like, yeah, it's been a thing. Yeah, yeah the last time like, I really, really wanted to go, it was right before COVID, was when Tool and Dream Theater were playing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have to go. I have to go. And I, I couldn't in the end. And I was absolutely devastated. So, I had to be here this You're time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm hoping you get to play, play your brand new single, which is out now, Messiah. Messiah. Tell us about it. Absolutely, yeah. So released uh, second single of the year, which is really exciting. Um, we thought, because obviously our first single we released was a little bit more softer. Obviously, we don't want people to forget that we are a rock band. That's like mm. what we started doing. We, you know, we've, we've been inspired by uh, bands like Nirvana, that, Foo Fighters. They were like the first kind of bands that kind of, got us to pick up and start together and Messiah kind of took us back to that roots with kind of a new pop sentiment which I really appreciate and with all the sad depression lyrics that any Crawlers fan could love. Crawlers with the classic depression. Classic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good so does this mean we're now gearing up towards the next record? I don't know. Who knows? Records. I, 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 you'll just have to wait and see. We've definitely been in the studio a lot this year. Mm -hmm. um, we are an album band. I know we don't have an album out, but we've always said, just trust us, we're, we're an album band. And it's one thing that as soon as like we, we felt that we had the money and stuff to be able to produce our own album, we've been like, this is going to be a debut. This is yeah. going to be something we're going to look back and be so proud of and, and a really statement of our time. And we've been working really hard. Yeah, because you've been around for a number of years now. I think I was reading your bio earlier, and you released an EP back in 2011. So 2011, I think so. That's what my bio just said. I was 11. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> How old do you think we are? I was gonna say. You're but. like, well, you ate so well. What SPF do you use? No, there's like a there was like another band called Crawlers, and like our Spotify is like linked onto theirs so ah. like it's class some songs like it says Come Over came out in 1996 I wasn't even born so I, I really <laughs> I'll, I'll tell your label that they got it wrong then Polydor <laughs> Flappy Ra <laughs> there's, there's Crawler as well and there's a Spanish band called Crawlers and there's a, there's a band called The Crawlers isn't there and The Crawlers but like we're none we're crawlers. crawlers. We're yeah. none of none of them. We're the correct crawlers. You're you're the main one. We're the you're, main guys. You're the one who tops the rest. Yeah, <laughs> Obviously, I mean, more like if I fought them, I would win. Yeah. Like not in like a music battle. Like I, I'd I'd beat them. You know. <laughs> yeah, I bet you could. Thank you. Um, <laughs> no, you're a little bit quiet on the uh, on the touring front at the moment. Well, we actually just announced our first tour of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing. We're gonna kind of take it a little bit more extreme and do some really big shows. Uh, three shows UK, three shows Europe, okay. um, and then maybe we're going to head back to the States as well, which we love playing in, um, but obviously definitely more to be announced very soon. Um, but we're obviously holding it back because next year is going to be very intense for a number of reasons, for sure. Good. I, I really want to know more. <laughs> I'm, I'm a but suspenseful you're, person. you're not going to tell me, are you? <laughs> no, I keep my cards close to my chest. <laughs> But um, I'm, I'm sure you have many aspirations of things you want to achieve as a band, but if you had to pick one thing that you have to achieve as a band, what would you... I think we all have, like, me? different ones. I've got to pass the mic and let's, let's all have one yeah. each, you know? Um, I don't know. I think I'm, like, really happy with where we're at the minute, just, like, you know, taking our time with the album and just, like, making it the best that we can and look back on something that we'll be really proud of and look, every album after this will just hopefully feel the same. 
I think for me, it's if we can get a song on one of the skate games or like a Tony Hawk game. That's yeah. my threshold for success. Skate 3 was like my foundation of my taste in uh -huh. music. If I can get it on a skate game, I'd be sorted. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to be selling out arenas, to be honest. Yeah. Um, arenas, I mean, dream big, cricket grounds. Um, All right, Beyonce. All right, Beyonce. <laughs> um, and I know, start at the bottom, start small, work up. Um, and just long longevity, to be yeah. honest. I want to be doing this for the rest of my life, so. Well. Yeah, good. Um, I, and this is going to sound like just, it's kind of like, it's not like a, a huge big one, but this is one that I've wanted for ages, and that's to be able to be on Jules Holland and do a live performance yeah, yeah. on that show. Like, I've been such a big fan of Jules Holland for ages. I used to watch his New Year's special every year. And, like, I always see, now I'm seeing, like, so many bands that, like, are so close to us, and I'm like, oh, my God, when's our yeah. turn? So that's definitely, like, a big... Aspiration. I think that can happen. Yeah, I think I that hope can happen so. fairly soon. Jules, he's watching. Get in my DMs. He's watching for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. When, so coming to the writing side of things, how do tracks tend to start off? For you? Is, it, is it lyric, melody? It's riff? really different. I think. Like, I think a lot of our songs are written in completely different ways, and they all. It's a process. So a lot of the time it'll be like a voice note, acoustic guitar, piano, and then I'll send it to the band or I'll send it to Amy and we'll either jam it out as a band or Amy will do some like kind of ad prod kind of ideas and then we'll take it to the studio. We work with our producer Pete uh, Robertson, who we love so much. We're also working with um, Jen Silvio, who's a producer and songwriter, kind of getting a mix of like the British and American sounds because we really just want to tackle all areas. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we want to be a universal band, even though because what I love is like we're from Liverpool or around the northwest, and a lot of people don't even know that because obviously we're, we've hit quite universally, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we kind of write in different ways, and we started off kind of jamming out, and now kind of going a bit more like detail into songs. Really, we're all really take a lot of pride in our instruments and like we really take it out like watching these guys do their takes in the in the studio is just it's mesmerizing like the layers of guitar track uh when Liv does like a one take wonder moment harry the way harry like <laughs> harry echoes like the vocal melodies it's it's stunning and you know i think that's where the real magic comes from for me studio really so that's like where we definitely are at our best mm, yeah and do you think you've now found your sound and what you're wanting to create or do you think I that's think still a work in progress really recently like kind of lily there I feel, I feel like we're still kind of scratching the surface to be honest i feel like every song we do is different and it's like oh that's a new layer that's a new layer but it's always kind of like well, it still sounds like us, but it doesn't yeah. sound like the last song. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think it's a hard thing when, obviously, we all come from such different musical backgrounds. Like, I came from, like, a classical background. Amy, very indie. Harry really likes his rap and punk, and Amy, um, Liv really likes their metal. Um, and it's really nice to kind of get that coalition and kind of form a new music that's kind of hints at all those things. Yeah. Um, but I think one thing that we always wanted to do is still have this really cohesive, exciting new album. Um so it's kind of working out how we're going to do all those and showing everyone what we can do, which is kind of what we did with the mixtape and just throwing out all what we did. Like, here's some acoustic ballads, here's like a rock song, here's like a pop song. And while, that, while you guys enjoy that, see what we can do, mm -hmm. let us work behind the scenes and get this sound, you know. Sorted. Yeah. Excellent. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.